this episode, we'll be going over the Browning Automatic Rifle, better known as the BAR. And Reed Knight will be here to talk about the internal workings of the Browning action and its evolution. We'll spend some quality time on the range and let's get a closer look and take it apart. This is an 1895 potato digger. This is pretty much the first uh, machine gun that uh, Browning invented. And what make, or what, why this gun's called a potato digger is up here in the front of it, the gas pressure pushes down on this mechanism and causes the, the gun to function. And uh, because it dug up the dirt, they called it a potato digger. That action is, is basically so reliable because the pressure has dropped before it starts extracting the cartridge out of the chamber. Marlin uh, came along at a, at a later date and invented a gun that was made on the potato digger frame, but <clears throat> they used a straight gas system. And this straight gas system basically pushes directly on thing, and they had extractors break. They had the cartridge case pull around it. So this gun was not satisfactory. It took special ammo and everything else to do it. So Browning learned that he needed a gun with a, what, what I would call is a primary extraction or a very soft extraction. This is a bolt and bolt carrier from a BA, BAR. And what it does is as this, as this bolt carrier goes forward, this mechanism moves and locks up and this locking mechanism back here in the back, when it unlocks, when the, when the bolt carrier goes to the rear, it takes all, it took almost an inch of travel before it starts extracting the cartridge. And because it takes so long before it starts extracting the cartridge, the pressure's dropped in the chamber and causes the gun to be very reliable. So Browning was, was pretty, pretty wise in his uh, decisions of, of how to do and how to build the BAR. BAR is a very, very reliable gun, it uses a magazine. The distance from the center line of the, of the bolt to the bottom of the magazine is a very short distance. So the lifting of the cartridge did not take much to lift the cartridge up to get to the center line. So it didn't have to do a lot of work and the gun was a very reliable feeding and very reliable ejecting and very reliable um, gun all around. And, and it was a very successful gun. Uh, we used it basically in World War I and World War II. As promised, we're out on the range with the BAR to test three aspects of its functionality that have been debated for almost a century. We'll be testing its rate of fire, its accuracy, and its lethality. Here to help us answer these questions, we've brought in professional shooter Marcus Walker. It's a test of 10 rounds for 525 rounds per minute. On the standard fire mode, a 10 round burst shot, 355 rounds per minute. Typically, this rate of fire would be very hard to control, but the BAR appears to have handled it with ease. Center mass. 